This video will show you how Quercus can handle the highly market driven short courses, professional development and employer bookings area of the business. A student will most likely visit your website directly when looking for courses on offer at your institution and in the short course world they're looking for more of a customer or shopping type experience. So here I'm playing the role of a student visiting the Lucian College website and I'm looking for uh, short course offerings. The content that you capture when you set up your course offerings in Quercus, all of that information can be surfaced onto your website or into a content management system using the Quercus Live Link feature. And that includes the register URL, which is context sensitive. So when I click the link, it will take me into our book and pay service for that particular course instance. Quercus has a shopping cart which can be deployed onto your website. This provides users with that desired shopping experience so they can find a course they want and add it to the cart and then continue shopping on your website looking for other course offerings that may be of interest to them. And when they find that particular course they can simply add that to the cart. At any point we can have a look and see what's in our cart and we could remove an item or if we're happy we can proceed to the checkout. There will be occasions where your courses are oversubscribed so due to their popularity Quercus allows you to enable a waitlist on a per course basis so when the waitlist is switched on the users will see a screen as per what we have here and they can choose to either accept or reject a place on the waitlist. At the checkout Quercus allows users to either sign in with their credentials if they've been at your institution previously or they can go in and create a brand new account. So I'm now within a Quercus book and pay service so this is where I need to supply the information that's being asked, pay my money and I'm ready to take a seat. The benefit of using the shopping cart is that the student only has to complete this process once and any specific questions for each of the courses will be asked together. At any point in time as I complete a booking I can save and exit. So this will save all of the information I've supplied so far and I can continue the booking at a later date. Quercus has a workflow tool which can automatically follow up with this customer at an interval that you define. This can help incentivize them to complete the booking. Quercus has a turnkey solution for online payments called TouchNet. So this works out of the box and as we'll see further on has other benefits due to the tight integration with Quercus. But other online payment service providers are available. So from here I can see the breakdown of the fees for the courses that I've added to my basket and I can also enter a discount code. So as part of Quercus we have our campaign tool where you can run campaigns to send discount codes to a target audience to help incentivize a customer to make a booking. Out of the box Quercus adapts and responds to the user's device. So whether they're using a mobile or a tablet device the screen will respond accordingly. This reduces the friction for users when trying to make a booking. It means that they can book onto one of your courses anytime, any place, anywhere. Once I've made my purchase, I'll be given an overview of the booking that I've just made. I'll be given a unique ID number. I can print off my booking with a printer-friendly version, or I can exit where I'll be taken through into my Quercus student gateway. So Quercus also has a fully adaptive and responsive student gateway. So students have access to the information that they need regardless of the type of device being used. I'm given an overview of the programs that I've booked onto and I can click through to see more information. I'll get a confirmation of all of the payments that I've made against any outstanding fees. Through the Quercus workflow tool Automated messages will have been sent to me, setting my expectations and telling me any important information that I need to know. And from my Quercus calendar, I can see where I need to be and at what time. With the subscribe feature of the calendar, I can pull through all of this calendar information into the calendar on my mobile or tablet device. So I've completed my booking and I'm now ready to commence studying at Elysian College. Throughout the product, you'll find dashboards that graphically represents what's going on in the business at any one time. So we can see the status of our bookings against any targets that we may have defined. 
and this is illustrated using a traffic light style system. And we can see whether our courses are live on our website. And we can also gain an insight into revenue to see which courses are generating more revenue than others. And this dashboard isn't just static, it's a landing page to be able to drill down into the underlying data. And from our enroll and pay status dashboard, we can have a look at our incomplete bookings. So these are what we refer to as abandoned carts, people that have engaged and started a booking, but maybe closed the browser or used the save and exit feature. So we don't necessarily know if they're going to come back. We can use the book communicate tool to perhaps send them an email or maybe an SMS to their mobile device. So the book communicate tool can be used to incentivize uh, your customers to make a booking and we'll see more about what Quercus can do around campaigns later on. Through the powerful Quercus workflow tool, we can also handle multi-touch recruitment. So the example we saw earlier was a simple book and pay service, so a single touch. A multi-touch recruitment process could be where they need to supply some information that you need to review. So this is just an example of the various different stages um, a booking could go through before it actually is confirmed. So for that dashboard I can click through to look at the bookings at various different stages in the workflow and the eye icon will take me into the full 360 view of this particular booking. From the task list we can see the workflow in action so based on this particular booking being at waiting documentation and review once we receive that documentation we can then move it onto a validated stage. Back at our bookings dashboard, it may be giving you information that a course that's scheduled to run at the end of the week may be way below capacity. So there are various different things that you can do to help incentivize bookings. Our campaign tool lets you go in and build out your own campaign. So from our campaign, we can have a look and see which are the top 10 best selling courses based on the scope that we've defined. You can define rules as to whether it's a fixed amount or maybe a percentage of a total fee or even a specific fee type and it could be a shared campaign code for example something you hand out at a marketing event or there can be individual use codes and you can track whether they've been used or not and you have various different properties which you can define so you can restrict the capacity or the monetary amount but it's an extra tool in your armory to help incentivize customers to make a booking and help make that course viable to run if you do need to cancel a course, so perhaps there's nobody on your waitlist um, and you've decided that you do need to cancel this particular course, you can do so quickly and easily. So we can click through into this particular course offering. And from our task list, we can use the cancel option. Now this will automatically identify all of the stakeholders involved, so any students or applications um, and indeed any online services that we need to cancel, so actually removing that course from your website and this wizard screen will step you through the process enabling you to communicate with your stakeholders using our template tool as the basis of the communication. With the Quercus accounts receivable we have a batch refunding option so if you have cancelled the course and people require refunds you can manage that process and through this interface go and create a batch of refunds. And if you do use TouchNet, because of our tight integration with that payment service provider, this will automatically go through and create the refund on their credit card. Within Quercus, we have a calendar, so administrators and tutors can manage their schedules and see exactly what they have in their diary for the week ahead. Each of the calendar items is clickable, so we can now see which students are attending a particular class. And we can record uh, any absences, and we can use the Communicate tool to either send them an email or an SMS. Further along in the life cycle, you may wish to assess a student. So from here we can enter any marks and we can also generate certificates. This is particularly useful if somebody needs to be certified quickly. So for example, an electrician has come to you for training and certification, but they need to be on site tomorrow. So they're looking for you to provide a very quick service. 
this certificate can be generated and it can also be deployed into the student gateway. Once we generate this certificate for the student, we can send them a notification. And this notification will use um, a, a template that we've already set up, which is our text and our mail merge tags. So we can send them an email or perhaps an SMS to their phone. The students now receive that notification and when they log into their student gateway, they will have access to their certificate. Here I'm logging into Quercus as an employer. So an employer can have their own dashboard. So Quercus gives you the ability for employers to manage their own training budgets and enrolments. So going online and enrolling their employees into training or courses provided by your institution. From the registrations area, on a quarter by quarter basis, we can see how many places are available and how many students are registered. We can track the funding uptake. So from our training budgets that we've created, we can check on the popularity. And clicking through, we can see all of the programs that are attached to this particular training budget. And we can see any of our students that are currently studying. It clearly shows the employer the status of any invoices. So you as an institution, will have, from your employer dashboard, generated these invoices for the services that you've delivered. And the employer can click through and that view the detail behind each of these invoices and they may wish to print off a copy. At any time they can track the status of their employees to see which employees may be pending registration, those that have already confirmed they've registered and any that are currently studying. So the contact who has access to this dashboard also has the power to enroll their employees onto courses and programs that are delivered by your institution and they can step through this enrollment process confirming their invoice address and who the contact may be. They can create new data if they wish. So they can determine how many places are available and how many they may wish to register now. We'll create a placeholder enrollment for any employees who we don't yet know the details of. And we can also choose the funding, whether that's a fixed or a percentage amount. And we can choose the, the fees that this uh, funding relates to. So we'll fund this 50%. We generate unique enrollment codes per employee, or we can just have a shared one for all employees to use. We can browse the list of employees that are linked to our organisation to add to this particular enrollment. Once I'm happy, I can now submit this enrollment to the institution. Through the Quercus Live Link URL, employees can now go online themselves and book onto a specific course. And they will do this in the same way that any other student would who's coming to your institution. The dashboard empowers your employers to have instant access to their information. So it reduces any bottlenecks and therefore improves your overall service to your corporate partners.